Buenas tardes. Uh, buenas tardes, de damas y caballeros. Uh, y el señor me, que, uh, no está bien, entonces permítame hablar en inglés. Gracias. Uh, Excelente, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Uh, thank you, thank you all for, for your interest and for taking your evening out to be here with us today. As Thailand is the coordinator of the ASEAN SSC in Buenos Aires for the year 2017, I would like to make a brief introductory remark before I move to speak about the first topic of this evening's seminar. I would also like to thank Kari for, for organizing this special event with ASEAN, especially to Ambassador Eduardo Sabus, Ambassador Mario Schuf, and Mr. Marcelo Iglesias. This year uh, marks the 50th anniversary of the establishment of the Association of Southeast Asian Nation or ASEAN. On 8 August 1967 in Bangkok, Thailand, the five founding members of Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand signed the Bangkok Declaration establishing these regional organizations. Five virtual countries joined ASEAN. Brunei in 1984, Vietnam in 1995, Laos PDR and Myanmar in 1997, and Cambodia in the 1999. Today, comprising 10 <coughs> member states with an estimated total population of 630 million uh, and thriving robust economies, ASEAN has grown stronger through integration and evolution. And at 50 years old, ASEAN will continue to strengthen not only within our region, but to continue to cultivate closer ties and cooperation with countries and organizations throughout the world. Hence, today, <coughs> theme ASEAN 50, engaging Latin America. Our purpose today in <coughs> seminars is to reach out to you all in Argentina and Latin America to share with you five particular aspects of ASEAN in a way that you will get to know us ASEAN better in, in our aspect of cultures, politics and economics so that ASEAN and Latin America may move closer together and forge relationships and cooperation that link the two regions. The topic I will talk about this, uh, this evening is on people to people or intercambio de personas entre ambas religiones. Physical distance sometimes can pose a challenge for the people of our two regions to travel to and for each other and hence to forge closer ties. Despite this, however, the first embassy from an ASEAN nation, the Philippines, was established here in Buenos Aires since 1948 followed by Thailand in 1955 and Indonesia in 1956. Malaysia and Vietnam established their diplomatic relations with Argentina in 1967 and 1973 respectively. As you can see, there are long-standing diplomatic relations between ASEAN member states and Latin America, in particular Argentina. Yet, there is still much room for diplomatic relations and the people of the two regions to move closer together. Allow me to share my personal experiences when I traveled to this region in 2012 as a director of Latin American Division of the Thai Ministry of Foreign Affairs, five years ago. I accompanied by a delegation from our Ministry of Foreign Affairs together with the Thai press to Argentina, Uruguay, and Paraguay on a fact-finding mission about the region the purpose of the trip was not only to get to gather information on the political aspect, but also the cultural dimension of this uh, uh, of this country, in order to better understand the region. Our team collected information, including some beautiful photographs, and upon our return to Thailand, we present and share our findings uh, at a seminar hosted by the Thai Ministry of Foreign Affairs, whereby Thai university students were also invited to attend so that Thai youth would get to know Latin America better. This is 
one example of introducing our one region and its people to another region and its people. Through the exchange of people between the two regions, including especially through the sharing of cultural experiences and interchanges, we can forge and strengthen uh, relation between ASEAN and Latin America. People is the strongest link to bridging countries and regions. And when two regions feel closer together, understanding is greater, trust is increased, and cooperation in numerous aspects could be cultivated. Peace and stability also follows. The people of Latin America and ASEAN have an important role to play in this process. People to people is soft power diplomacy, which does away with the formality and rigidity of governmental maneuvers. It creates personal closeness, creativity, foster ideas and innovation. Sport is an example. example. It could be said that football is the most popular sport in Asia. And Diego Maradona and Lionel Messi are world famous personalities export by Argentina. When an Argentina strikes up a conversation with a football fan from an Asian nation, those two famous men will be sure to get the conversation flowing and the connection started. <coughs> Meanwhile, an Asian sport popular in Latin America is Muay Thai, or kickboxing, from Thailand, with a number of non-professional Muay Thai clubs dotted around Buenos Aires and as far south as Ushua. Cultural diplomacy through music, dance, art, and food is another aspect which the people of the two regions have and continue to exchange. Through Latin pop music, for example, the demand in Spanish lessons have increased dramatically, at least in Thailand. Uh, in some university in Bangkok and in south, uh, not not uh, the, in the province. Now there's more than 500 students uh, taking class, Spanish class in Thailand. The number one hit Latin song at the moment, Despacito, <laughs> is of course played and listened to not only in Western regions, but also in ASEAN country. Even a young ASEAN girl in the Hiya from Malaysia is to be precise, has sung a cover while strumming on her guitar to the song uh, Despacito on YouTube, gathering num numerous places and admiration from native Spanish and Latin American speakers and over 2.1 million views. This is the strength and power of people to people connection through this example of music shadowed by technology that can transcend distances and physical divide. And so as evidence here, it is with technology and digital diplomacy that has aided our two regions in coming closer. YouTube, social media, all via the internet has revolutionized uh, uh, modern day forging of relations. The digital era helped to link the world regions, people, and in turn, increased network. Technology is a, from, is a form of science, though other aspects of scientific innovation and exchanges developed by the two regions, people. ASEAN and Latin America can only become closer and enrich one another. In the future, or perhaps even now, Ecological or environmental diplomacy would be another aspect. The people of the two regions come together to share experiences and assist one another. With climate change, the further deterioration of the environment and perhaps more devastating natural disasters, the people of the two regions will take it upon themselves to be responsible to the environment and the future and the world and not rely just on their government. When people are closer together, when they feel they have a common purpose, this sport of foster bonds and cooperation and beneficial outcome for the stability and peace of the world. Sport, music, 
science and technologies are delivered, shared and exchanged between ASEAN and Latin America. But what has always been a beautiful and, and enticing connection is the food. For Argentina, you are now more open and welcoming of the tastes of food from ASEAN country. And country of ASEAN has over the past year grown to, live, to love wine, especially Argentinian wine, Malbec. This is but another example, a big and important one, of how the people of our two regions share our cultures and thereby can come closer together. When people of two different regions feel a connection, become more interested in one another's cultures, languages, and all the social aspects more, travel can also increase. And Argentine have been sampled food from ASEAN country in Buenos Aires, perhaps at the ASEAN festival at the end of the year, co-host with the city of Buenos Aires. Uh, would they love to jump on a plane to holiday in one or all of the ten ASEAN countries? And in, in Indonesia, Filipinos, Vietnamese, or that talented Malaysian girl singing a cover of Despacito, Testing Latin culture via the internet through their music, art of themes, and scene documentary of great thinking Patagonia. Would love to experience all this themselves in person and not just via the internet, but to make that journey to Argentina and all other Latin American countries. The fact is that this ASEAN national would require visa. This is where the government of the two regions could further work together to make travel more accessible to the people of both regions. Thailand and Argentina, for example, have, the, have for the past 10 years a bilateral agreement exempting visa for the two national for tourism purpose. Perhaps similar agreement could be negotiated in the future for other ASEAN countries, which will allow the people of the two regions to become even closer. <coughs> Through the strength of people to people exchange between ASEAN and Latin America, the possibility for cultural, scientific, academic, economy, political, and security cooperation become endless. At 50 years, ASEAN is stronger in all these aspects, and we invite our Latin American friends to join us in getting to know one another more and further, even closer to ties. <coughs> Everything else after that becomes much easier when we already know one another personally. Which is my best.